parents are wondering how to do schoolwork with their child who's learning to use an AAC device uh, while sheltering in place. It's hard when you don't have the same kind of access to your teachers and therapists. And the first step really is to take the pressure off yourself. You can do activities and spend time with your child that feel like fun, that don't feel like schoolwork. And you can work on expanding your child's uh, language skills at the same time. The most important thing is to share your time with your child. And by sharing time and conversation, I really think that is the best kind of therapy right now. So while sharing a book, there are a few strategies you can use that are going to help expand your child's language. Uh, extensions and expansions. We're gonna talk about expansions first. So when your child says a single word on their device, you're going to expand that by doing one or two words more by staying a step ahead of what your child is doing right now. So today we're gonna to read a book, or parts of a book called Mary Wore Her Red Dress. Uh, it's adapted from a folk song by Merle Peake. So I go into it. Mary wore her red dress, red dress, red dress. Mary wore her red dress all day long. Now, if I read that page and my child says, dress, dress, I can expand that by saying, yeah, you're right. She has a red, a red dress. dress. She has a red dress. I could also take that common dress, dress. and expand it by saying, yeah, I see that. Look, she's going to wear, wear a dress. dress. She's going to wear, wear. A red, red dress. dress. I think she's going someplace. So that's expanding and let's go to another page. Katie wore her yellow sweater, yellow sweater, yellow sweater. Katie wore her yellow sweater all day long. Let's say my child says yellow. I'm going to say, wow, you're right. That is a yellow, yellow. sweater. sweater. I see that she's gonna wear, wear. a sweater. sweater. She's gonna wear, wear. a yellow, yellow sweater. A yellow sweater. And there still I'm expanding that one sentence and making it just a little bit longer. But I can also change things up. When I extend a child's language, I'm adding a different element or a different type of sentence to what we're working on. So I could say, wow, you're right. She's wearing that yellow sweater. You know what? That yellow sweater looks really warm. I think it's a warm sweater. Warm sweater. A warm sweater. But it looks like it's spring or summer outside. I wonder why she's wearing a warm sweater. I bet she feels pretty comfortable in that sweater. I could also say, look at that. Look at her friend Katie. And what, what is, is she? she? wearing. What is she wearing? So instead of just expanding that first word, sweater. sweater, I'm asking a question instead of making a statement. Let's go on to another page. Let's see. Kenny wore his orange shirt, orange shirt, orange shirt. Kenny wore his orange shirt all day long. So what, what is, is he wearing? What is he wearing? I think it's a orange, orange shirt. An orange shirt. I think he's wearing an orange shirt, but uh-oh. What? What happened there? Look, the balloon popped. I think Kenny's a little bit prickly. I bet he feels a little bit Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable because he popped Katie's balloon. So let's try one more page. Let's go to the end of the book. Katie wore a pink hat, a pink hat, a pink hat. Katie wore a pink hat all night long. So what did she wear? She wore a pink, pink. I think it's on the next page. Hat. She wore a pink hat. But look at that. What do you see there? 
I think Katie looks like she's feeling tired. Katie is tired, but she is still going to wear, wear her pink, pink hat pink. all night long. I'm guessing that Katie had a birthday party. I think she is tired, tired. but also she had a great. great day at her birthday party. The end. And it's fun. It's a conversation. It's just reading a book together. And you'll notice that I haven't demanded that anybody touch the screen of the communication device. I haven't given a verbal prompt such as, what was she wearing? Touch hat or tell me pink hat. I've taken the pressure totally off. I'm simply modeling language. And what's more important to me in that moment is yes, the modeling that I'm showing the structure of the language to my child, but that we're reading a book together because it's really all about relationships. Okay. To learn more about the technology we have in our learning library, check out our website at techlpa.org. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and follow us on social media. Links in the description below.